The representative of the Russian Federation has asked for the floor to make a further statement. I give them the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. I cannot but respond to the statement delivered by our U.S. colleague who commented on my statement on the Kosovo issue and in so doing drew a parallel to the situation in Ukraine. I would call upon him not to engage in polemicism and to familiarize himself with the statement of the U.S. representative during a Security Council meeting on Kosovo on the 24th of March, 1990. Your own double standards will then become quite obvious to you. For 78 days, you bombed Belgrade. You killed nearly one million Iraqis. Uh, what did you transform Libya into? And these are countries which are thousands of kilometers from you, and they pose no threat to you. And yet, having actively fabricated various theories of limited sovereignty or humanitarian in interventions. You mentioned that uh, apparently I ha cannot teach you anything under the present circumstances, and yet you have been teaching the residents of Belgrade, Baghdad, Basra, Mosul, Raqqa, Baghuz, as well as uh, Af Afghan uh, uh, provinces of Kandahar and other parts of Afghanistan. Not all of your strikes were precise, to put it mildly. And yet, this is something different. These are col this is collateral damage, as Ma Madeleine Albright put it. And apparently, this collateral damage was justified from your standpoint. Indeed, the truth lies in the fact that the crux, the essence of your policy, the essence of your action is rooted in a single premise that the West is always right, that international law can be distorted into any direction if this advances the interests of Washington and your military industrial complex. The violations of human rights are condemned only when this is beneficial or convenient to you and international legal mechanisms are applicable only with respect to those who you previously already ahead of time labeled as criminals. For example, you did not wait for an investigation into the heinous provocation which transpired in Bucha. But perhaps you you uh, identified your guilty your perpetrators even before this provocation was staged. I would call on you not to engage in these double standards. These are uh, double standards and approaches uh, that are visible not just to me, but to other peoples, including the Serbs. Insofar as what lies behind your actions, there is only one goal that is clear behind your actions, a willingness, a desire of NATO to dictate through force, to dictate their will and impose their will upon other members of the international community. Thank you for having given me the floor.